This film features a project in which we moved a storage tank with a diameter of 17 meters and a height of 22 meters to new foundations. We became involved when a client had a problem with the foundations of an existing tank. Because the subsidence of the tank was out of the acceptable tolerance range, this problem had to be solved to guarantee the integrity of the tank. As it concerned a critical tank within an installation, the aim was that the tank should be out of service for as short a time as possible. It was decided to construct a new foundation made up of piles and concrete slabs in a new location, so that the tank only had to be taken out of service at the moment the new foundation was ready and hardened. The tank weighed more than 150 tons and was rather inaccessible, so it was impossible to move it with a crane. Aloka BVBA suggested an alternative solution, a combination of jacking methods and self-driving carts. As soon as the tank was cleaned, it was disconnected and the insulation removed in certain places, allowing lifting eye bolts to be welded onto the tank wall. These were needed to be able to jack up the tank for the first 50 centimeters with the help of jacking supports. Once the tank had been lifted 50 centimeters, the number of jacks was halved by installing so-called double jacks under the tank wall. This way, the tank was able to be jacked up to the desired height and the supports were positioned in such a way that the steel trajectory plates could be installed. Taking into account the sagging of the bottom, the tank was jacked up to a height of 1,60 m to allow the carts to be able to pass under it. Self-propelled modular transporter carts, or SPMTs, are a relatively small system used for transporting the heavy tank. The different modules were linked together to be used as one vehicle. The power pack supplied power to the modules. Once the carts were positioned underneath the tank, it had to be lowered down onto them. The jack supports were removed, so the actual relocation of the tank could start. The underground had been completely leveled beforehand and 50 meter long trajectory lanes were installed. When we decided on the route the tank would take, we had to take into account the adjacent tank and the building on the other side. After arriving at its new location, the tank had to be turned 90 degrees due to the new pipes and connections. The fact that the SPMTs can revolve 360 degrees meant that this maneuver was no problem at all. Once the exact location of the tank had been reached, the jacking supports had to be built up again and the tank had to be jacked up before the carts could be extracted. When everything was removed from underneath the tank, it was jacked up to 2.5 meters in order to install the new final layer on the foundation by machine. After measuring and checking the foundation profile, the tank was lowered onto its new foundation. All in all, this jacking operation took two weeks to the great satisfaction of the client.
Afterwards, all that was necessary was to connect the tank to the new pipes and replace the insulation, after which the tank was ready to be used again.